Hi everyone, hope you had a wonderful holiday. I know some of you are still on your break, as am I, luckily. But I thought it would be meaningful to end this year of 2015 with a wrap-up video. I've done these for the past maybe two to three years and it was just a way for me to look at my personal growth and progress um, as well as what has gone on in my personal life and also in my blogging life which I share with all of you. Um, I had actually contemplated whether or not to do that for this year. I didn't feel like there was anything super profound that happened. However, one of you had actually commented and asked me if I had been, you know, planning to do the same wrap-up and I thought, why not? Let's do it. Let's take a look at what went down um, and I'm excited to share with you the plans I have for 2016 as well. So if you're at the right place, um, let's talk, shall we? 2015, I think for me, my goal was really to explore. Um, I already, you know, had a good, I think I would call it like a steady number of viewers and readers for my blog and over here on YouTube. Many of you um, whom I have talked to and gotten to know through bits and pieces of your comments throughout the years. So I recognize all of you whenever you comment, um, especially if you've been around for a while. So. Thank you for sticking by. I always enjoy having these conversations with you. So that's been really fun. But I wanted to really explore the different, um, I guess, topics, themes, niche areas, and see where I really fit in. Of course, I've always talked about myself as a beauty blogger slash lifestyle blogger. I mean, I do throw in bits of lifestyle things, especially over on my website blog. A little less here on YouTube, but I have been exploring, as you would have seen from videos such as um, how to stay organized and my planner video uh, and bits and pieces like that. But I want to explore and see where I fit in. Um, I don't like calling myself a beauty guru because that sounds very... just it doesn't sound like the right fit for my what I like to do, but I do introduce myself as a beauty and lifestyle blogger. But I want to try out things, you know, outside of the very tight niche of makeup tutorials and beauty hauls and product reviews, which I will still continue to do and which I still love. But through things, a um, little bit of more creative video projects that I've done that many of you seem to have enjoyed, um, I'm hoping to branch out and really find my place. So 2015, I would say, was very just explorative. Try a bit of this, try a bit of that. Um, some new themes that has come up. Um, I've done a couple of fashion videos this year, which I really enjoyed um, and have taken a little bit of a more creative twist than just me sitting in front of the camera. Um, as well, I've done the Daily Beauty, which is the first episode of me interviewing um, kind of industry experts um, with your beauty questions that was filmed outside you know of my normal setup and that was really fun although a little intimidating but very fun as well. For my personal life I guess the biggest thing to come about is I feel like I've really started to distill and define my personal style and it's something that I have thought about over the last couple of years. In the beginning of this year, I had come to you with the idea of uh, doing the Wardrobe Architect Challenge, which got a couple of roadblocks, and I will talk about that in the next video that you will see, which is kind of a, um, I'm calling it So Happy 2016. Get it? So Happy? Um, I know, it's a little cheesy, but that's the best I could do. Um, I will talk about it more in there, but essentially, I had this ideal of revamping my wardrobe, doing a lot of sewing, and then I ran into some technical difficulties um, with machinery and whatnot, and then school happened. Yeah, school was a big thing for this year. I decided to go back to school, and um, I had been accepted to the program in September, so from September to December right now, I'm on my holidays, but I was like 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. was just school. And it was hard for me to find that blogging and life and school balance, you know, all together as a trio. Um, however, at the same time, I think for 2016, as I'll talk about in a bit, um, 
I've got to do a little bit of tweaking so I can have all three things in my life because I really do enjoy it. Um, most of my school friends or classmates um, do not know that I run a beauty blog. Um, I try to be pretty incognito on campus. I find that and I really want to kind of keep a bit of a divide between my personal life and uh, my blogging life. I mean, I share bits and pieces here and there with you, but for all of you who have, you know, asked me about what I'm studying, where I'm going, things like that, um, I haven't answered any of those questions, mostly because I really want to try to keep that divide as much as possible, just for my own sanity, to be honest. Um, because I don't want too many things intermingling and then they start affecting each other and it it's just gets complicated. And for my own privacy reasons as well, at some point, maybe in the future, I will bring up exactly what I'm doing and my career choice and options and schooling and things like that. But for now, um, I'm keeping it on the down low. If you have seen me on campus, and I'm sure somebody has seen me and have watched my videos, maybe they don't recognize me because I go in there incognito, like no makeup and whatnot, do say hi. You know, I'm always happy to have a quick chat, but um, keep it on the lowdown. I've been just trying to um, have a little bit of separation in my life, which is nice because thinking about it, when you're doing school things all day, every day, it's actually really stressful and it's nice to have a bit of an escape. And for me, that's blogging. That's all this beauty stuff, the side stuff that I do, which uh, keeps me in balance, you know, in my life. So that's been really, really great. And I appreciate all of you who, you know, have seen me and have uh, kind of respected my privacy um, on this matter. So that's about school. Although I will tell you, because I mentioned last time, I did really excellent on my final exams. I passed with flying colors which was great. So thank you so much for all your good luck and well wishes and I hope that all of you who are in school had done really great as well in your exams and tests and final projects and things like that. So that's as much as school goes and actually I think someone had um, asked me and this triggered a whole train of thought about whether or not I would ever do YouTube full-time and I think the clear answer would be no and I talk about this periodically with my blogger friends as well um, for me, I think it's important to have that balance. If I were to do, if I were to be offered the opportunity to do YouTube full time and, you know, be able to pay rent and live off and, you know, all of that as a regular job, I really probably wouldn't take it just because, um, I think when you need to do it as a job, as a full time job, I need to really dive in into the YouTube world and the blogging community as a whole. There's a lot of um, relationship issues between um, either with other bloggers or communities or companies, PR, like there's all these interlaced webs of relationships that can be hard to handle and can be really stressful. Um, and for myself, I feel like that would just overwhelm me. And um, you know, my choice to go back to school and have a, a change of careers um, was really to do something that satisfied my inner self and that, you know, looking down the road, I would have some kind of accomplishment uh, to show for it, to feel really good about what I've done in my 30 years or 40 years down the road. So things like that. So I probably would never, I'm saying that right now, but in the foreseeable future, um, I don't see myself doing YouTube full time, but I will continue to do YouTube and blogging for as long as I can. And I like to keep that um, two separate things in my life, but they both enhance my life in different ways. So that's addressing that, um, which some of you have asked me before. And I think it's just, it's good to have a day job, you know, um, not only for stability's sake, but also just to keep yourself grounded and not be too caught up in this very youth-driven, very social media heavy, trend-driven world that is YouTube. Essentially, that's what it is. But moving on, 2016. Um, gosh, what do I, what am I really excited about? I'm really excited that I bought a ring light this year and that will come in so useful in 2016. The ring light um, allows me to film on days where it's cloudy, just weird, unpredictable weather. I'll just turn off all the lights and blinds and just use the ring light that gives me enough light and I can make it work. 
um, which is so good. Um, so I'm very happy about having some lighting. I recently bought, oh I can't show you because it's over there, but I bought a, um, a mic that I can record into the computer. So therefore, I can start doing voiceover videos, which will be helpful again because some of my content I don't have time to refilm in person with me talking because that takes a lot of fluidity and you will mess up when you're talking. <laughs> That's just the way it is. So having that mic there, I can film things and just voice over. It's easy to do a, to re-voice over something than to set it up and film it all over again live, if you get what I mean. So I got one of those. I have the um, the Yeti mic and I have it in the whiteout version, which is completely white. It's so sleek. I will show you in another video if you're interested in my filming equipment. I'll talk about that in, a, in um, another video, essentially. But happy to have that and I'm looking to add a mic to my current um, DSLR that I'm filming with. This setup right now, I am a little bit far away just because of the angle of the lens. So. Sometimes my voice isn't doesn't project as well as I'd like it to. I don't have a big shouting voice. I talk a lot, but I don't shout. So I'm looking to get a little attachment for this DSLR so you guys can hear me all better, and that's work in progress. Um, so hopefully I will pick one up and order one January or Feb. Um, audio quality will improve, which is great. So that's for the tech stuff. Um, in terms of what type of videos are coming, like I said, 2015 was the year of exploration. I tried a lot of different types of content and I wasn't really worried about consistency. So 2016, I'm hoping to really pick out the subjects I'm interested in. And I would say for certain, I really love the slightly more crafty, artsy videos I've done. I did one in the beginning of 2015 called a DIY uh, Chic and Simple Desktop Calendar, which I loved filming and actually do use in my personal life. So to be able to share with you these little tidbits and crafty things that I do. However, I haven't quite decided the right format to do for those videos because I mostly do everything myself and sometimes depending on the size of the project, um, I might need an extra pair of hands to help me film those videos. But more crafty things. Um, are in plans, uh, so very excited about that one. I am looking to do more beauty tutorials or try on of beauty products. I review um, beauty products over on my blog because the video format just takes too long to go through every single product, but I can do it, you know, type it up on my blog. But I love to do more tutorials and full face looks, and with the, um, the new backdrop, that I got this year along with the ring light and everything, um, I'll be able to do that. So excited about that as well. Um, I am hoping to do a bit more fashion related videos, which I've done this year, but I want to do some more specific focus one for next year, especially when it comes to sewing as well. I recently just bought a sewing machine this week, which I'm so thrilled about, which I will share with you, like I said, in the next video, which is about sewing. Um, so more of that, and of course, if you have any requests for things, always feel free to let me know and actually leave it down below in this video so I can read it and um, add it to my plans for 2016. So a bit more fashion videos, however, I will say I don't think I intend on ever becoming a fashion blogger. I think they're a, they're a pack on their own and um, I'm not quite sure that I fit into that niche and I have a slightly different taste and aesthetic than the trendy ones right now. So either way, more of my own style of fashion videos will be coming. I'm also hoping to do a bit of um, organization videos. I've been on this thing about just clearing out stuff. <laughs> um, I do have a lot of stuff, uh, partially because of what I do as a beauty blogger. I get sent a lot of PR items. So I'm trying to you know, do a lot of donations and see what I use, what I don't use, you know, people I can pass it off to, and just really keep the things that make me very happy. I think that's important to have things in your life that bring joy to your life. Um, and then whenever you open your closet or use something, you always feel happy about it versus, oh, you know that you know that feeling? It's like when you open your closet and, and you're like, so many clothes, nothing to wear. <laughs> right? You don't want to be in that situation. So I've been really decluttering and um, categorizing my items and just keeping the ones that make me super happy. So 
that's a work in progress, but um, more of those organizational videos will hopefully come. I have one planned for closet organization. I've kind of redone my closet just in terms of uh, the layout and what I got in there and how to sort things out. So look forward to that as well. Moving ahead then, I think for 2016, the key word is, uh, actually there are two key phrases. Number one, efficiency. Hashtag efficiency needs to be my thing for 2016. Because of all these different parts of my life coming together, and I really want to keep everything, um, it's important for me to be more efficient and decide on, okay, block out time to do this, block out time to do that. Um, and block out time for myself as well. I've realized, especially with school full time, I've become a bit of a workaholic. When I'm in school, I'm like, okay, work, work, work on school stuff. As soon as I get home, I'm like work, work, work on blog stuff. And there's not really a time for myself to relax and just do nothing and just read a book or something that I enjoy or sew even, right? I've, I've pushed sewing to the side because it's either school or blogging. So I'm going to try and do something like uh, block scheduling I've heard about, which is you block off X amount of hours per week to dedicate it to a specific thing that you're doing. For example, spending time with the family, for example, reading, for example, sewing. Um, so I'm going to try and do that and maybe just block off time to do things to make sure I consistently essentially force myself to take some time off and do things that I love because I think that's a great way to recharge your energy and to really re-inspire yourself by making time for yourself or else you're just really scattered and tired all the time. Um, so that's something to work on and I think 2016 will be great. It'll be great because I feel like I've got a better grip on what I want in my life and the direction I want to go for you know both my personal life and my blog. Um, I've already started making plans for January. It will be I'm going to try and do maybe two to three blog posts a week and then one video a week. Um, I haven't filmed too many holiday videos because in the end I decided it's more important to just take a break and spend time with people in my life because once January kicks in, I'll be back to, you know, the 6 to 6 schedule or maybe I think next term is a bit better. Next term is more like maybe like a 7 to 5 or something but still quite uh, long days and what I've done during the holidays is just try to work ahead. Um, so I'm currently working ahead for January videos and content. So then I'll always be a week ahead, hopefully. Um, therefore, uh, you'll always have new content and things to see. But um, yeah, I think that really wraps up 2015. And looking forward to 2016 myself, I would love to hear about an accomplishment or something you're really proud of. Or tell me something about your year for 2015. And then tell me something that you plan to do, one of your goals. or. Um, you're working towards for 2016. I love to have this conversation with you as always. I feel like this video is already getting very long. don't have my glasses on so I can't read the timestamp over there. But either way, have a wonderful, happy, happy New Year's. And um, I look forward to seeing you in a couple days with the first video of 2016. As always, video requests and um, you know, let me know what type of content you enjoyed watching and what you would like to see more of. Leave all of that down below or as always hit me up over on social media. I'm everywhere. You know where to find me. Take great care of yourselves and I will see you next year. Bye.